welcome to ISPO 2015. The most important bit of ski kit, not only to keep you warm and dry, but also so you can look good, is your outer jacket. So as you can see here, it's a women's jacket, really nice slim fit, um, it's waterproof, it's also insulated so it keeps you warm. There's some important features to look out for on ski jackets. One of the most important things is a good hood. It goes over the top of your helmet or your hat and keeps you warm if the weather's bad. Another thing to look out for is a strong cuff here. You can see there's a Velcro cuff there. It goes around the glove to stop cold air getting into your wrist, which can make your hands and arms cold. The other important thing inside at the bottom of the jacket here is the powder skirt. That wraps around your waist and it stops snow from riding up and possibly getting you wet. Yeah, not to forget the little pocket there. A great place to put your lift pass in there, really easy access. And if it's middle of the winter, you think it's going to be even a little bit too cold with your base layer and your outer layer, you can always pop on a fleece and that will keep you toasty warm on the slopes. So your ski jacket's really important, as are your thermal underwear. But a mid layer is quite good too, especially if it's one of those cold days. A fleece is a really good example of something you could wear as a mid layer garment. I've got a mid layer garment here. It's actually made with polyester insulation. It's quite a warm garment to wear. You'd only wear this on a very cold day. And when you're skiing, you've got to remember that you're, you're actually exercising, you're doing physical exercise. You normally don't need to wear that many clothes. On a particular cold day, an insulated garment like this, whether it's filled with polyester or down, can be really useful. Ski socks are really important. Don't skimp on them. This ski sock here has got padded areas on the shin. It's got a nicely fitted foot. It's got a seamless area around the toe. Really good ski socks are made of merino wool. That's the best fabric that you can get. Staying warm out there in the mountains isn't about wearing lots of thick woolly jumpers. It starts with your thermals. One of the things that thermal underwear does is it wicks moisture away from your skin. That means that you stay warm and you stay dry at the same time. It's not like wearing a cotton t-shirt. Don't go out with your normal clothing. It just doesn't perform in the same way. It's really important to have a, a warm glove. Some people prefer a mitten, some prefer uh, a normal glove. Mittens tend to be a little bit warmer. Get your hand in there, it's really snug. But sometimes a glove offers better control on your pole. A couple of features to look out for. A leather palm is often good um, to keep the snow out, keep you super warm and dry. And I really like a high cuff, um, and that stops the snow getting in there if you do happen to have a tumble. In recent years, helmets have become more and more popular and in some resorts it's actually now compulsory, particularly for children, to wear a helmet. Helmet technology has really improved in recent years and it's much more, they're much more comfortable to wear now. The most important thing with a helmet is to get it fitted correctly. It wants to feel comfortable on your head, you, you've got it on all day long, it needs to be fitted. Go to a ski shop, go to a good ski shop and get your helmet fitted there. Yeah, some of the important features of a helmet, you'll see on this one it's got vents, that's great for when it's a bit warmer, to give you breathability on your head. At the back there, that's a clip for your goggles, really important, so if you do take a tumble, then your goggles aren't going to fall off. And for me, particularly if it's cold, these really snug uh, earpieces keep you warm, you've got an adjuster there just to get the fit absolutely right, and once you've got your goggles on, off you go and you're sorted. Ski goggles are really important. Don't go on a ski holiday without them. There's lots of different weather conditions going on in the mountains. One day it'll be snowing, the next day it could be windy, it's gonna be quite cold out there. You need a pair of goggles to protect your eyes. Yeah, for me, I'll always take some goggles in my bag. Here we've got a women's specific one, so it's, it's a bit more narrow, both top to bottom and side to side. But what is important is when you put it on, you can actually see out and you haven't got a blocked vision. This lens here, um, it's got a slightly pink colouring you'll see, and that's really great for low light, which is a bit different from yours there, Rob, isn't it? Yeah, there's different lenses for different light conditions. There's dark lenses, there's yellow lenses. It depends on the weather. Some lenses change with the conditions of the light. So you'll actually get a lens that, if it's sunny, darkens slightly, and if it's cloudy, it lightens a little bit, allows you to see more definition in the snow. So we've got a great bit of luggage here from British company Snowcart. It's an integrated luggage system. This is called the Snowcart 6. It comes in three parts. You've got a ski bag on top and two bags underneath. You could get so much stuff in, in here. It's amazing. I'm just going to unclip it, very quickly unclip it like this. Four clips there and then flip this over. You can see there's a separate ski bag and then two carts underneath. 
can get your ski boots in here, two pairs of skis, all your ski clothing. If you've got a family and you travel a lot to the mountains, snow cart system is a really good option. Don't forget to hit subscribe now so you get the latest videos every week from inthesnow.tv.